Hello, welcome to the studio. Uh, today I am collaging. Um, I made some pieces, or I did some work on some pieces that I really didn't like and I just wanted to kind of cover up um, and just bring a bit more something to them. They're lacking something at the moment. So I just thought I'd show you my thought processes behind uh, collaging, what I collage, how I collage. Um, so yeah, so if you uh, like the video, do um, subscribe to the channel. Um, you can also see lots more of my work at ruthander.co.uk and up until the end of today, that's Friday the 3rd of March 2023, you can also enrol on my Playful Printmaking at Home complete video course uh, at ruthander.co.uk as well. So I wasn't particularly happy with what I did actually with the in the last um, session I had with these pictures here. Um, I put some red on. It smudged onto an area I didn't really want it to. Um, this one is just a bit too bright. I covered up a lot of what I actually liked, which was a little bit annoying. Uh, this one just needs a little bit of something extra, I think. It's a bit too dull, so I'm going to add some red collage. And again, this one, I just found it... I This is a bit too bright. It's a it kind of jarring at the moment. So I'm going to be adding some collage. Um, so this... I'm going to sort of bring this one down with some tissue paper collage. I'm going to add some red to some of them as well. And um, <clears throat> the great thing about this is this is actually monoprint on tissue paper. So a lot of the things you might see me do, um, in fact, I'm going to cut this one down now. A lot of the things that you might see me do um, result in this kind of stuff. So it might be a ghost print or I might be doing a demonstration or a workshop. And I will end up with lots of rather beautiful bits of texture and colour on tissue paper. Um, and I use these as collage pieces um, for work like this. Um, and I can cover bits up that I don't like, which is brilliant. Um, and I can just sort of tone things down as well, which is really useful. But with the tissue paper, what's great about it is that um, you can see through as well. So you still get a little bit of the texture of what's underneath. So I'm using my homemade rice glue here, rice paste, which is just sushi rice um, uh, cooked up in a pan uh, for quite a long time, really. And then you can either um, just blend it in a blender uh, and it becomes a little bit smoother or you can just leave it as it is, a bit chunky if you like. That's quite good for when you're putting things through a press, like if you're doing chine collé, where you're adding collage and it's going through a press, and it, the press sort of squeezes out all the lumps anyway. This, I think, has gone through the um, blender. I'm just going to cover up that bit there. And what I often do, <clears throat> I just get a bit of scrap paper here, just pop it over the top, and just use my fist to get any wrinkles out and make sure it's all down. And you can see that the color, the original colour underneath is showing through there, which is quite nice. So that means I can then work on again on that, probably with some more monoprint. Um, now this was actually the ghost print, I think, of, of, of how I originally did this. And I do love this kind of almost lavender colour with the red. It is rather nice. I'm just wondering if I can keep a little bit of that. I think I will. So I just spread it out with a, a cardboard spatula. I don't really, you know, if I get some on the print itself, I don't mind too much because uh, it doesn't show once it's dry. It's not glossy at all. Um, and you can buy rice glue. Um, I often buy it from intagliaprintmaker.co.uk, uh, which is a, a great printmaker suppliers. Um, but you know, YouTube. I YouTube. I googled this, and you can. It's just as effective to make your own. And I don't dilute it with anything. I have been. Uh, it's been suggested to me before to dilute. Um, rice paste but actually I find that it sticks better non-diluted so that's what I go with 
So a lot of my technique these days is um, monoprinting, collaging, monoprinting, collaging. So with collage, you can just change things so quickly. Um, it, it's great for that. You can just cover entire areas um, <clears throat> very quickly. You can change the feel of a piece. You can add color depth, you know, in, in, in minutes. Um, and I love that about it. And also, of course, you can cover bits up. So, and then I will go into it again and maybe soften edges or add something over the top or add line. And it's just a kind of to and fro like that when I'm doing little pieces like this. Just make sure you get the glue onto all the corners. So I think rice paste, the reason it's used for things like chien collé and um, dry point and, th and etching and things is because it's very stable and it doesn't do anything funny to your paper or your colours, which is what we want here. Oops. And last one, I think this is actually almost exactly the same colour as that, that background hill. So all it's going to do actually is just take down that bright red colour. Having said that, the, the movement, the texture, the line will still show through, which is quite nice. Oops. Too much there. Okay, and I'm gonna. I'm still gonna allow for a little bit of that red and a little bit of that bluey, purpley colour to show through because I do, I do like just a little bit of that. And you'll find that when you've put the glue on and you're pressing it down, um, it actually showed that the the under bit, the background shows through quite a bit more than when you're just laying the tissue on to check and to look. As you'll see in a minute, I'll just make sure this is all stuck down. There you go. You can actually, you can still see those lines coming through rather nicely. Um, and still just got a little flash of red there as well. So I'm ready now to let those dry. I usually put them under a pile of books and then I will work into them again. 